the next thing that we're going to be working on today is bread. Now, what I'm going to do is a very simple Amish white bread. It's an easy one to start with. There's just a few ingredients, and it's, it's a great starting place. This, will, this recipe will make two loaves of bread. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take two cups of hot water. Now, or warm water. You don't want it hot. This needs to be anywhere from 100 degrees to 110 degrees. So, this is so, you know, warm to your hands, but not hot. Then, you're going to put in two-thirds of a cup of white granulated sugar. That's what your yeast is going to feed on. Then, you're going to take one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, and you're going to store, stir the this into the sugar and water mixture. That is going to allow your yeast to start feeding on this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to proof this yeast, which all that means is that you want this water to start getting frothy. That means that your yeast is working and everything is great. This takes just a few minutes. But you'll be able to see it. I'm kind of stirring it to break up some of these yeast chunks. Okay, I'll scrape down the sides and let that sit for just a minute while it gets frothy. I have a very small kitchen because I live in an RV. Alrighty, we're starting to froth up a little bit. This doesn't take very long. And this is something that I've decided to start doing is baking my own bread because the more I see on television about all of the pesticides and GMOs and everything that is going into our products, it's making me just a little bit nervous. So... I've decided to start baking my bread. Now, normally I bake one loaf at a time because a loaf lasts me a couple days. But um, because I'm helping my friend learn how to cook, um, I told her that I would give her this other loaf of bread. So, okay, our yeast is getting pretty frothy. And um, we're going to give it just a couple more minutes. Let me show you what it looks like. See if I can get this where you can see in the bowl. Uh, you can kind of see that there's a froth on the top, and that means that the yeast is definitely working. Okay, now once we have that done, we're going to mix our salt and our oil into the yeast. Now, what we have is one and a half teaspoons of salt. So we're going to put that in there. Okay. I like to put it in just a little at a time and kind of stir it in as I go. And we're going to put in a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. Stir that around. Now, this recipe calls for six cups of bread flour. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix the flour in one cup at a time until you get a sticky ball of dough. So we're going to start with this. This has two cups in it. So I'm going to start with this one and put about half of it in here. Stir this all in. Normally, I would like to make this with my um, 
stand mixer and my bread dough, but uh, my friend does not have uh, a stand mixer, so I told her that was probably a good thing because now she'll have to learn how to do this the way that I learned how to make bread years and years ago and how most people have learned how to make bread of my generation anyway. Okay, it's starting to get a little sticky. So we've got two cups in right now. Okay, let's put the third cup in. Now you can make bread with all-purpose flour, but it usually comes out better when you use bread flour. It's a little more coarse uh, when you use all-purpose flour, which can give you more of an artisan type bread. Starting to get a little heavier now, so really need to kind of use my hand to turn the bowl and work this flour in. Okay. Get that out of the way. Sorry about that. Good. Getting a good stiff dough going here. I'm not too worried about the flour that's coming out of the sides of the bowl while I'm doing this because I'm going to be kneading this on a floured surface anyway here in just a second. Okay, and this is when I usually get my hands in the bowl because to me it's a lot easier to mix it in using my hands because then I can work it right into the dough. It's still too sticky. Is it sticking to my fingers? set this in here and I'm going to be kneading this flour in and basically all kneading is is just a matter of taking the flour and working it in and doing it by pushing away pulling back to you turning the dough doing it over and over and over again what this is doing is this is putting um, air into your dough so that you get those light, those wonderful little pockets of area, um, so that that the bread is not too dense. It's also making it to be the right consistency, and you'll be able to feel it. It's not sticky, sticky anymore. And I usually need for somewhere around ten minutes or so. But you don't have to. I mean, it's um, it's good exercise. <laughs> so it's what when you feel like the bread is right and your dough is correct, which we're getting there really quick here. Okay. 
Okay. Looks like we got us a good thing of bread dough here. I'm going to put it into a little mound because we're going to put this into an oiled bowl. Now, notice I did not use all the flour. Most of the time, I find that I don't. So, but the recipe that I like calls for six cups. So, and it's a good starting point. It allows you to have plenty on hand because you want to have all of your ingredients set out and ready to go so that all you have to do is pour them in as you need them. There is nothing worse, I think, than trying to get started on a recipe and realizing, oh my gosh, I don't have any of this. And had you gone ahead and measured everything out, ready to go, beforehand, then you would have known that. You could have made a quick trip to the store, figured out a substitution, whatever you need to do. Again, these videos are to help my friend, so sometimes it may seem a little ridiculous, the things that I'm saying. But it's teaching her. <laughs> now... I don't have a whole lot of bowls in my RV because I don't have a lot, a lot of storage in here. So what I've just done is I've just washed this bowl real quick so that I can use it to put my bread in and let it be rising. So we're going to put this in. We're going to take vegetable oil and pour this into the bowl because we want a well-oiled <coughs> bowl. Sorry about that. That was my min pen. Something got her attention outside. Okay, and I'm just going to pull, just coat this bowl really, really well with the oil. I'm going to take my bread. I'm going to put it into the bowl. And I'm going to turn it so that the bread gets good and oiled. Okay. Then I'm going to take a damp cloth and I like I take a towel and I like to put it dampen it with hot water because to me that gives a little bit of heat going into the bread bowl to help it rise just a little faster but you don't want it sopping wet you just want it damp alrighty we're going to place this in a warm, dra non-drafty area and let that rise till it's um, doubled in bulk. And that's going to take about an hour. So when it's ready for the next step, I'll come back with a new video. Thank you.